friends, Jewel back again with another super cool astrology video. And I wanted to talk today about the trine and the sextile between the moon and Pluto in Sinistry. What happens when we see this connection? So this actually creates a pretty harmonious blending between um, somebody's power drives and somebody's emotional needs. So it's a good blending of intensity and feelings. There's a real keen interest in each other. Not the like um, overwhelming, kind of scary, maybe disturbing, titillating type like we see with the conjunction or the square or the opposition. This is one where they definitely take notice of each other. But it has this very subtle effect. Um, so if you're not looking for this one, you may not really feel this intensely in your relationship. It's definitely going on, but it's one that works very much under the surface. Um, so there's this kind of magnetism that really exists between these two people when we have the sextile or the trine. And it expresses as an interest um, a feeling from the moon person that the Pluto person has something new or sexy or interesting to bring to their lives. So the Pluto person, they see and sense a lot of possibilities in the moon person. Possibilities that have to do with uh, connecting with their Pluto things. So having that, the Pluto parts of them reflected back by the moon, because the moon is a reflective surface. The moon doesn't actually create its own light. It reflects all lights. So um, whatever is, you know, repressed or undealt with or unacknowledged, you know, the things of Pluto, this is something, you know, this connection, this trine of the sextile, this makes it easy for the Pluto person to really grasp those things, to contact those things, to process those things that have to do with their Pluto. Because the way that the moon person brings those things up to them is actually not disturbing. It's not like we have you know, our Pluto stuff between us thrown in our faces or the headline of our relationship when we have the hard aspects. It's more, you know, it exists, but it exists in such a, uh, a, a mutually harmonious fashion, this particular energy, that it's... See, the thing is, in sinistry and in relationships, we... You know, the, the bad stuff, the hard stuff between us is always going to outweigh the good stuff. Always. Even, you know, when you get people into a marriage counselor's office, they're, they're talking about the weight of things being you know, on the bad side. That is always what we notice as human beings. So that is why this one works in such a way where it's definitely going on. But it doesn't headline in your relationship. So the way that the Pluto person has their Plutonic stuff brought up and reflected to them in a conscious way through the moon person is not disturbing. It's not um, something that creates a lot of drama like typically moon Pluto, uh, moon Mars, contacts between two people do tend to create a certain amount of drama. So this is actually one that's pretty nice to have between two people. It does create a depth of connection and a certain amount of um, sexual interest between two people. And it's, it puts the Pluto person in a, a position where they're way less, less apt to want to manipulate or control the moon person in any fashion because they don't, you know, we don't have a lot of the power games going on between two people when we have the sextile or the trine. Because um, they're working out their stuff in a way that 
is just not, it, it's, it's harmonious the way that, that they are meeting each other in this particular um, aspect. So it brings a certain amount of intensity, a certain amount of interest, but it doesn't bring drama as most um, Moon Pluto things do. So it's a pretty good one to have. It's, it's, a, a, it's a nice, um, somewhat romantic connection to have because the two people do feel that there is a um, somewhat fate, fateful quality towards being together because as we're working out our stuff with each other, we're growing. And when we have harmonious Moon-Pluto um, stuff going on between two people, we tend to grow in similar ways and at a similar pace. So this is one that can really, um, you know, contribute to that kind of good stuff that we see in a relationship. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. I will be back super soon with more super cool videos. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology, where you should be following me. So I do lots of writing over there and birthday descriptions, daily astro weather forecasting. And I will be back very soon. Bye-bye.